Welcome to our morning devotions. We are bringing these to you knowing that some of you are not able to get our devotional booklets um, because they're delivered to the church. We are also giving it to you because we realize that many of you are taking walks and listening to things and we invite you to start your day with a word from God. And so I invite you to do these things each and every day as we live our Christian walk in faith. I will start every day by being open to the blessings that God is going to give me. I will realize every day that I am the face of God to everyone I meet. And I will end every day by thanking God for the blessings received and place into God's hands my worries and fears.
we read from Christ in Our Home, April, May, June, 2020. Today is Thursday, June 25th. Our reading comes from Galatians 5, verses 2 through 6. Listen, I, Paul, am telling you that if you let yourselves be circumcised, Christ will be of no benefit to you. Once again, I testify to every man who lets himself be circumcised that he is obliged to obey the entire law. You who want to be justified by the law have cut yourselves off from Christ. You have fallen away from grace. For through the Spirit, by faith, we eagerly wait for the hope of righteousness. For in Christ Jesus, neither circumcision nor uncircumcision counts for anything. The only thing that counts is faith working through love. Happy Thursday, June 25th. At some time in our lives, most of us feel pressured to go along with our group or our leader. If we display the marks of the group's identity in our social media posts, we hope we'll be accepted. If we wear the right fashions or go to a certain college, maybe others will approve of us. If we follow the leaders, perhaps we'll be safe from bullies at school or crime in the community. But these practices don't make us free, just captive to something or someone else. For freedom, Christ has set us free, says Paul. Then he warns the followers of Christ not to accept circumcision or uncircumcision, outward signs, as guarantees of security or acceptance. Those marks count for nothing. What makes all the difference is faith working through love. The gracious, self-giving love of God in Christ Jesus is the ground of our confidence and the source of our freedom to love our neighbor as Jesus has commanded. Holy Spirit, free us to set our hope on your love in Christ Jesus, our true Lord and Savior. Amen.